Jillian Ahonen here. <clears throat> Wanted to hop on real fast and just share something from my heart. And it was through a conversation that I had with a good friend of mine several weeks ago in regards to praying for her loved one. Um, she's just feeling really discouraged with some of the things that she's watching in her son's life. And while I am not going to disagree with her that it's incredibly overwhelming, especially when it's your child, um, but I wanted to encourage her the same way that I, or encourage you the same way that I encouraged her and what I shared with her, I believe will also be a very good, powerful tool for you in your prayer life. So what I said to her is I said, well, why don't you ask the Holy Spirit for a scripture or a word of hope, promise, maybe a picture to declare over him. And every single time you start to feel defeated or discouraged based on what you're seeing, declare what God is saying instead. Start start speaking the, the truth according to the word of God over him and just, you know, let's, let's see what God does with this. And you know, that, that really encouraged her. And she's like, Oh my gosh, that's a good idea. Cause it is so easy, right? It is so easy to get caught up in the natural, to get caught up on the situation at hand and what you're seeing and just feel hopeless. But see, God can see the bigger picture. He is so full of hope and so full of promise and he is faithful to his word. And so when I'm saying, ask God for a word or a scripture to declare over your loved one, what we're doing is we're partnering with heaven. We're partnering with God's will and we're declaring that in our prayer life. You see, the enemy forms weapons based on our words spoken. And, and, and that is 100% scriptural. It says we have the power um, of life and death in our tongue, that we can either speak blessings or curses over people. And, and when we're not careful and we're kind of like, you know, not really intentional with the things that are coming out of our mouth, the enemy absolutely uses those to form weapons against those people. He doesn't really have the authority over us unless we give it to him. This is definitely one of the ways that he gains access into our lives and into our loved ones' lives. Um, and I've, I've gone through so many situations with my kids where I've just been really overwhelmed based on some decisions that they've made that are just the opposite of the way they were raised. Um, and so this is something that I've put into practice in my own life, that I've come alongside other people um, through my coaching ministry and my casual conversations with good friends. I just encourage them to always, always, always press, press in. It, just tune out what you're seeing, go to God, ask what he says and declare what he's saying over the situation. Um, it's powerful. It's powerful to partner with God and watch him show up in these overwhelming situations. He is faithful to his word and he will respond. We don't know when, we don't know the journey, we don't know what they have to walk through to get there, but we can absolutely trust God. So I just wanted to encourage you today, don't don't get so caught up in what you are seeing. Ask God what he's saying and pray his heart over your loved one. I pray that this meets you and encourages you. Be blessed.